Welcome back to uh, part two of my video, trying to get out and do some uh, Digimodes portable with my uh, newly acquired Windows 10 tablet. Uh, if you've not seen my last video, please go back. It'll explain a bit more. Uh, this tablet here is a purchase I made. It's a second-hand tablet. Uh, the details will be in my previous video. I purchased it mainly so I could go out portable doing some... Uh, Digimodes. Now I spoke about I had uh, one of these sound interfaces the SCU17 and I'd uh, give it a good ham radio friend of mine G7OBR who I asked if he could assist me in trying to get it working with his uh, 817. It turns out uh, he struggled and the reason he struggled was because there's one cable that doesn't actually come with the radio uh, with the sound interface when you buy it, and that cable is known as um, the Cat 62. That's the part number, or the uh, Yesu's part number, should I say? It's this one here at the back. Uh, I'll show you the uh, wiring diagram of the 817MD, so you can see it there. Cat 62. And that's the cable that didn't come with it. As you can see there now, it's um, all interfaced up. I've not run WSJTX yet, but I will do and show you the radio sec uh, radio settings shortly. The actual uh, device itself is of, sort of aluminium construction. Uh, even the faceplate and the rear plate are metal. Uh, the front one's obviously screen printed. As you can see, uh, I've chewed up the screws there. I should have uh, I used this screwdriver. It wasn't quite the right uh, headset. But anyway, never mind. It's just took the, the paint off, really. Uh, the, uh, the the reason for taking those off was there's uh, one jumper and a switch for the uh, FSK and PTT uh, option, uh, which uh, the, the lights themselves is not... You know it's not needed so if you have an 817 there's no and you have one of these scu 17s there's no need to go inside uh, the only thing i will say uh just to sum up uh, i may repeat myself because i'm going to obviously cut into other videos next is it's very expensive there's cheaper sound interfaces on the market in the market uh, one of the downside to this one of the main downsides is the expense I paid around uh, 120 English pounds for the SCU 17 about a year ago. And the CAT 62 additional lead I needed was, uh, it's a Yesu one, uh, hence why I paid 30 pounds. You can actually make your own leads uh, in the manual. There is a section uh, that gives you the, uh, the connection layout. So if you do want to make your own, uh, it may be a very uh, a very advisable cheaper option so what I'm going to do uh, next uh, the, the next bit I will show you the radio settings and then uh, with the uh, WSJTX uh, speaking to the radio right I'll uh, catch you shortly Apologies there, I've just had to uh, change cameras because the my last camera, for some reason, the screen was very dark, so you couldn't see. So the first thing you need to do is push and hold the function button. Okay, and uh, I'll just scroll through the uh, the menu settings. Uh, bear with me. Okay, I will stop at ones that are of significance. There was only a couple I actually changed, but you feel free to... Uh, Pause or screenshot any. Right, this one was uh, critical. The cat rate, 38400. That's on number 14. And 26, I think 25, Digi Digimike. And 26, bear with me, it's, uh, sorry, it's... Um, the LCD screen on on the Yesu is very good. It's just it's just the camera. So yeah, so twenty six set to user U. It's just that a lot of HF. Are, the reason I picked that was because um, HF the digital modes are all predominantly uh, upper sideband. So there, that is the the only one I really think. Uh, yeah, 
There's nothing else in there really that I changed. That's it really. Uh, what I'll do is I'll um, now show you the um, settings in uh, WS uh, JTX and uh, just show you it communicating with the, the 817. There you are. I'm just going to show you the uh, WS JTX settings. File settings. Uh, let's go to general first. They're my general settings. I think they use a more personal preference, really. My call sign and uh, my grid location. Uh, radio, these are the ones that are critical. So uh, I've picked the FT817, obviously. Uh, I'm on COM port 9. That, that may change depending on uh, what you're using. Board rate, 38400. Um, data bits default, stop bits default, uh, handshake default. PTT method, CAT. Um, mode, I've got data packet and split operation, none. So there are the settings there. I'll just show you communicating with um, the 817. So we'll just enable TX. I, I'm not going to sort of wait for a uh, QSO. I know I'm, I'm working. I just look at PSK reporter, so I know I'm getting out. So the, the radio should kick in and TX. There you go. Oh, good. Uh, as you can see, those other two lights um, don't actually come on. Uh, this obviously these speak for themselves the RX level uh, and the TX level uh, if you do increase the TX level what you'll find your ALC goes up as well so just keep your ALC at a minimum but it's it's all good it's all it's all working so I'm a happy man um, it's the I don't know what people's views are uh, when it comes to uh, Digimodes and RF power I try to use the minimum possible really uh, I think the FT8 as a mode is, is quite heavy on the on the radio as a you know as a as an output method and i don't believe you should ever run a rig irrespective this is uh qrp at five watts i don't want to be running this to the maximum so i'll just have it on the lowest setting which will be one watt anyway i'll say 73s and uh, i hope to get out soon and and do some uh, more portable along with uh, now i can uh, data modes all the best 73